Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a hypothetical scenario that has intrigued scientists and space enthusiasts for decades, what would happen if we nuked the moon? Before we get into the details, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss out on our latest videos. Alright, let's explore this fascinating thought experiment. Imagine we somehow decided to launch a nuclear missile at the moon. What would happen next? Firstly, the impact would create a massive explosion, sending debris and lunar material flying in all directions. This explosion would likely be visible from Earth, and it would generate a significant amount of heat and energy. But what would be the long-term effects? Well, one immediate consequence would be the creation of a large crater on the Moon's surface. Depending on the size of the explosion, this crater could be several miles wide. Additionally, the blast could potentially disrupt the Moon's delicate gravitational balance, leading to changes in its orbit. This could have ripple effects on Earth, affecting tides and possibly even causing earthquakes or other geological disturbances. Furthermore, the release of lunar material into space could pose a threat to spacecraft and future lunar missions. The debris field could create hazardous conditions for astronauts and equipment. Of course, this is all purely speculative. In reality, there are numerous legal, ethical, and practical reasons why we would never attempt such a drastic measure. But it's still a fascinating thought experiment that highlights the interconnectedness of Earth and the Moon, and the potential consequences of our actions in space. The Moon has shaped the entire evolution of the planet Earth since it was formed 4.5 billion years ago after a planetoid crashed into Earth. Since then, the Moon has been in orbit, pulling on the oceans and seas, creating a tidal bulge, and literally stirring life into creation. So what if we nuked it? Exploding the Moon would have some dire consequences for our planet, somewhat like in the movie Oblivion, where aliens decide that destroying the Moon is the best way to take us out. You might not know this, but both Russia and the United States had plans to nuke the Moon back then. Political and cultural tensions between the two countries made such desperate plans seem almost plausible at the time, back in 1958, according to the Armour Research Foundation. It turns out that both sides wanted to detonate a nuclear weapon on the moon as a show of force and strength. Carl Sagan was working on a classified project to detonate a nuclear device on the moon, and the Russians also had their own plan called the E-Project. Of course, none of this materialized, and we ended up sending a man to the moon instead. So, the idea of nuking the moon is not new. The question is why would you want to nuke the moon and what would happen if we could? The truth, as many of you are undoubtedly already aware, is that we lack the technology to destroy the moon. Even if we were to use every nuclear device we currently possess, the worst that could possibly occur is that the moon would likely break into smaller pieces before eventually reforming, albeit with a very different appearance in the night sky. Still, let's pretend for the sake of experimentation that we could. The question is, though, why anyone would want to destroy the moon? Losing the moon would not have any positive effects on our planet in fact the moon is responsible for more than you might think it turns out that our moon does a lot more than just give us light at night impact craters on the moon show that our lunar satellite has taken a few blows from asteroids that might have hit the earth instead even if the earth survived the effects of the moon being blown up other space rocks could now hit the earth. But that's just the beginning without the moon there. Would be a lot of negative effects on the planet depending on the way the moon exploded and which direction the pieces decided to go destroying the moon would result in approximately 7 times 10 to the 22nd kilograms of debris which hopefully wouldn't hit the earth in large chunks but since the moon is kind of close to the earth you can bet that a lot of that debris is going to impact the earth you might be wondering how many nukes you would need to blow up the surface of the moon using some fancy online tools there is a good chance that many of the pieces would be large enough to cause major catastrophic damage and hit the mainlands. There would be a rain of rock on Earth from the exploded moon. It might take days for some of the pieces to reach us but they would be visible from the sky as they hurtled towards the Earth. It is safe to say that the majority of the devastation on Earth would come from the debris of what was left of the moon. It has been estimated that it would take 9,015 megaton nuclear bombs like the Castle Bravo bomb to blow up the moon. Consider the Chelyabinsk meteor, which weighed 12,000 to 13,000 metric tons and had a diameter of 66 feet. It entered the Earth's atmosphere undetected because it was hidden by the sun. The meteor exploded in an airburst at a height of about 97,000 feet, 
producing a bright flash that was brighter than the sun and witnesses reported feeling intense heat. Seismic and infrasound measurements estimated the blast to be between 400 and 500 kilotons, which is 26 to 33 times as much energy released from the Hiroshima atomic bomb, even though the majority of the object's energy was absorbed by the atmosphere. The shockwave damaged 7,200 buildings in six cities throughout the region, injuring 1,500 people primarily from flying glass shards. Imagine hundreds of these impacts occurring over days or months, the devastation would be immense, forcing humanity to seek shelter underground as much of the rock and debris would heat up and burn as it entered the Earth's atmosphere, quickly heating the atmosphere and turning the planet into an oven. This devastation doesn't account for the giant pieces which could be miles long in size slamming into the Earth not to mention the other small fragments hitting the upper atmosphere and increasing the Earth's temperature a cloud of dust would form and possibly cover the skies blocking out all light except for the fireballs of lunar objects entering the atmosphere and while all of this devastation is happening there are bigger things about to happen that would change the Earth forever the loss of the moon would affect the Earth's orbit rotation and wobble and acts like a stabilizer without this stabilization the Earth would begin to wobble more and more and the seasons as we know them would cease as the Earth would swing around the Sun in an unstable and fluctuating orbit the Earth could end up wobbling violently as it spins the Earth might even tilt all the way over and lie on its side in relation to the Sun's orbit, resulting in extreme differences in temperatures and daylight other times the earth would be straight up and down making nights and days equally long all year round there would be no seasons there would be periods with extreme weather with bigger differences between summer and winter thanks to our current moon the earth's axis stays tilted between 23 and 26 degrees and has kept it this way even over millions of years the tides would be tiny in comparison to what they are now and the seas and oceans will become more calm now dominated by the pull of the sun which is 400 times larger in diameter than the moon but it is also 400 times farther away because of the sun's distance the pull on the tides is only 40 percent as strong as the pull on the earth's oceans by the moon when the sun and the moon line up together the spring tides are 140 as large as a typical tide but now the moon is gone the tide patterns would be a lot simpler marine life would disappear as we know it as most creatures would perish without the tides if you suddenly remove the Moon there may or may not be giant tidal waves since the gravitational forces from the moon would suddenly be gone if on the other hand we decided to use some kind of death star weapon and blow up the moon we might avoid some devastation for the first few years until the wobble got us no moon means the days on earth would get much shorter during some times with the average day being about 6 to 8 hours long the earth 4 billion years ago may have only had an 8 hour day because of how close the moon was this would give you anywhere between 1100 and 1400 days in a year our days are much longer now this is because the tidal friction provided by the moon slows down the rotation of the earth this means that the earth was spinning much faster in the past in fact it would be about three to four times as fast more than four billion years ago right now the pull of the moon slows the earth's rotation by an effect known as tidal breaking this increases our length of day 2.3 milliseconds per century with the moon moving away from the earth 1.5 inches every year giving us 24 hour days there would be a lot of dust and small rock fragments that would create a ring system around the earth much like saturn over time many lunar fragments would deorbit because of the earth's atmosphere creating a series of impacts but in the night sky there would be gray rings of moon dust around the earth without the moon the sky at night would be very the moon is on the other side of the planet so imagine being able to see this pretty much anywhere at night away from cities the moon actually reflects a lot of the sun's light and is the brightest thing in our current night sky. Dark nights would be extremely dark without the moon to light things up. Darker moonless nights in the middle of the desert produce some of the most fantastic views of stars in the galaxy. You can even make out the plane of the Milky Way on dark nights away from city lights. Venus is the next brightest object in the night sky, only 14,000 times brighter than a full moon. The sun would still be shining on us, but there wouldn't be any solar or lunar eclipses. Despite all of this scary talk, you don't need to worry, there are no plans to explode the moon, and doing so would require a massive amount of nuclear power and multistage rockets, which we don't have. At least now, you might be able to appreciate our lunar friend a little more the next time you glance up at the night sky. We hope you enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe and enable notifications so you can be the first to know when a new one is released. And that wraps up our exploration of what would happen if we nuked the moon. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like and share this video if you found it interesting. Until next time, keep looking up!